just there, look, a little disc shaped. Hoping it's a hammer, to be honest. Welcome, ladies and gents. And first signal today, literally, was an 82, really high pitch. Just there, about six inches down. Not sure what it is. Some kind of copper alloy, something or other. Some kind of artifact, but not sure what. I think that punches a hole all the way through. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go all the way through, so your guess is as good as mine on this one. What do you think? Snapped off there. Really not sure. It's got a seam down it, so it's obviously cast. But I don't know what it is. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, just a little scutching up. That current was a 20, quite a solid, deeper tone. So, thought I'd just show you quickly. Ladies and gents, could be in my imagination, but that looks like a lead object. Looks a bit like a, a lead fibula, doesn't it? It's a Roman fibula. Obviously, my imagination might be running away with me, but it's definitely been something, I think quite clearly see that that's been made into something so what do you think very much looks like a lead fibula to me but i don't even know if they made a lead fibula so uh who knows Let's crack on ladies and gents just had a loud 40 tone sort of a medium tone just there's a coin let's have a look I think it's a coin. Don't recognise the edge of it. No, it's a button. It's gonna say it's got a funny edge on it. Look, all the way around. Nice little copper button. Carry on, ladies and gents. I have got something here. Can't was a thirty, and it was about six, seven inches deep, medium low tone so we're in between just there look little disc shaped hoping it's a hammer to be honest let's have a look together be really gentle with it in case it is a, a rare hammered <laughs> yes it is a hammered it is a hammer definitely all right i don't want to pick that mud off with my fingers and scrape the coin so we will get the spray. I think it's a long cross from what I can see so far. Nothing quite like finding a hammer coin, is there? Yes, yeah, revealing itself now. Nice little hammer, slightly clipped. Zoom in for you. There you go. Um, not sure what it is yet. I'll have to do a bit of research, but it looks like an Edward. Should we say Edward the First? Is it a London Mint? Not sure. Looking through the lens of the uh, camera is hard, but. There you go, an Edward Hammered, so probably going to be 1200s in date, probably, something like that. Beautiful. See if we can find some more. 
And if you're new here and you want a chance to win this special edition t-shirt, please subscribe, comment new subscriber in the video comments, and also tell me what size you are, and you could be picked at random to win this special edition t-shirt. Looks like another coin, ladies and gents, come up in the 40s, just down there. Oh, it looks like a jet, actually. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. Looks like a medieval jet, and I'm not going to rub that. So it's not far from the hammered coin, so there's a few bits coming up. I think it's a... Is it a button or... Sorry. I think it's a button, actually. <laughs> it's really thin, though. Got a shank on the back, I think. There, I will check it out, but I think that might be a button. It's really thin. See why I thought it was a jet, and can't you? But we'll keep plugging away, well, ladies and gents. Just found this quite deep. It's only a button, but worth showing. Give me a little scratchy signal. This is rather interesting, ladies and gents. Look what I found. It's a lead, what I can only describe as a, perhaps a pilgrim's badge. Further research needed on this one. There's a cross there, look. I think it's a cross. Looks like a sword cross. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But there's some lettering on the outside, and then on the other side, there's that detail. So, that's quite interesting. I'll, uh, I'll have to do further research, but... I'm happy with that. Never had anything like that before. Nice little lead badge of some kind. And I would say it was medieval, wouldn't you? I will try and find out. See if we can find something else around this section. Ladies and gents, just had this little squeaker. 52 on the Manticore. Scratchy little squeaker. And that was a watch winder. And Graham at Unearthed has just confirmed the lead thing that I found a minute ago was a early lead seal. So that was confirmed ID. I thought it might have been a uh, pilgrim's badge, but it's not. It's uh, just as good. It's an early lead seal, so I'm happy with that as well. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, we have here... A 25 on the manticore that's a broken buckle so it's a double loop buckle probably 1500s I would think roughly around that date so there you go another quality find ladies and gents just got a 12 on the uh, manticore I thought oh it's an unusual number I don't know if I'm getting 12 so I dug it, and it's just here. It's a disc shape. We'll get the water on it, because uh, it might be something decent, this. So let's have a look. Put in the middle of, me, middle of my hand. Too sure what that is. Not too sure. I'll come back to you. I'll clean up probably off camera. I ain't got a clue what that is. I think it's just junk to be honest with you. Um, just a disc shape, like a little tiny disc shape, but it's got that strap on the back, so I don't think it's anything decent. Oh well. And there it is, ladies and gents, 36 on the manticore, the customary musket ball. You've got to find one each hunt, haven't you? There you go, there's mine for the day. I won't be too much longer, I don't think, but I'll give it another 10 minutes, see if I can get lucky. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. 